Hello ladies, it's Sarah Beth here at Southern Belle Reviews, which is named basically after my store, Southern Belle Treasures. So if you guys are interested, I do have a Mercari shop down below and I will link it where I sell makeup and jewelry and fashion and everything else because I'm a chimera and I always have been. So yeah, I'm Sarah Beth at Southern Belt Reviews and I'm really glad that you're here. I hope that while you're here watching this video that you'll like and subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at 800, which means I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. I am so super grateful for each and every one of you. I do um, screen comments. They just have to like be held for review and then they'll be published. But so you're not going crazy if you leave a comment, don't worry, but I will approve it and I will respond to every single one and I appreciate you guys so much. So don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. Don't be, be afraid to give a like and don't be afraid to subscribe. So today we're here with my top 10 lipstick panning project update number seven. I did it backwards. Seven. So I have all my <laughs> jumbled up lipsticks in front of me, which I keep in this nice little organizer. This is what it normally looks like. I'm super OCD about organizing. So I keep this on my vanity and it really comes in handy. I like it a lot. So I have my list here in front of me. I thought I had my list here in front of me, but I have it in front of me now because I have this notebook full of everything. It's my you got this notebook and it's full of lists. So here's my top 10 lipstick panning project list. <laughs> Update number seven. So first up we would have the chapstick lip balm in pumpkin pie but it's in my son's bedroom right now because he needed it last night. He needs chapstick at night because his lips get dry lips get dry and chapped so it's in there right now so it's technically MIA I'm not worried about the chapstick we'll move on to number two which is I guess it's number two through four <laughs> so I have four lipsticks here and they are let's go through this I will put this down so that nothing falls out <laughs> and let's go ahead and go through this organizer. I do have my favorites in the front and then like my least favorites in the back, but my least favorites right now are the Maybelline Ultimates and they are next on the list. So number two is the Maybelline Ultimate Lipstick in 788 More Honey and I really do like this one. This is probably my favorite of the, I guess, six that I have. I liked this collection because they reminded me of the Huda Beauty lipsticks that had this ombre look on them and I like the nude. They are super like thick and even, you know, super creamy, like almost a Play-Doh consistency, but I do like More Honey. This is 788 More Honey. So what do you think? It's not as like shiny, it's more of a matte finish. And I do hope that in the future they'll come out with a more glossy finish to these. But in the meantime, these are the ones that I have. So that's 788 More Honey and it's number two on the list. Now, number three, I guess this is number three. Let me write it down here. One, two, three. Number three is in 688 More Sepia. That would be this one. Same kind of packaging. It's got that ombre that makes you think of Huda Beauty. And I like this one. So this is more sepia, but it does, I feel like it washes me out a little bit. This color is not my favorite, um, but I am just trying to pan it. I think compared to more honey, it has way more in it. More honey is going to get panned before anything else. I know that. I know it is because it's just my favorite one. Um, so there's no problem there. More honey is going, going fast. That's all that's left of it. But more sepia is, it's just something that I'm trying to work on. Like even if it's around the house, just trying to pan it. Um, and then up next we have more taupe, which is $7.99. So this one's okay. And it's more of that brown tone. I love the nudes. 
you know, and here it is. It's got quite a bit left of it. So here's more taupe, another one of my nudes. But again, you know, that creamy uh, matte consistency. I do like this brown nude shade better than more sepia, which washes me out. So I like this one better. This is probably my second favorite of these two, but I don't wear it very often. I do need to wear it more. Okay, so that was number four, more taupe. Up next we have number five, which is more auburn, 288 more auburn. This one I don't reach for very much. So it does have a lot left, but I will continue to chip at it. Here it is. It's it's like a brick red, but it's definitely, um, I don't know, it's, it's still a nude, even a brown, like a cinnamon or a ginger, um, just like a dark brick reddish brown. So it does fit in with my nudes, but at the same time it also fits in with my reds a little bit. That's just my opinion, um, but I don't wear it as often just because I don't wear reds as often. I do like the classic lipstick, the red lipstick, but I just don't wear it as much because it's just really bright and I like my nudes more now. They just feel like more complimentary to my skin tone. But when I'm in the mood for something like Fancy Pants and Lavish, I do reach for my reds. So up next we have number six, which is a Context Beauty lipstick in Back For More. This has a prototype sticker on it for my, I tried to launch a brand called Serafina Delirium Cosmetics. I just didn't have the money for it, but in the future, I'll try again. Um, I, will, I will probably shorten the name of this to Delirium Cosmetics, but in the future, it's going to be Southern Belle something, so it's not going to be Serafina Delirium anymore. But this is Back For More by Context Beauty, and I do like the packaging of it a lot. It's just very simplistic, very streamlined, and it's just a simple black. This came from Ipsy. And of course, the lipstick is a lot like a lip balm. That's why I liked these so much. I just got bored of them because I was trying so hard to pan them that I just kind of got tired of them. So at the moment, I'm just not really using them. I'm really working on a different lipstick. But this is a really nice lipstick. It's very sheer. It's not as pigmented as these other ones. So these are really like very thick, very pigmented, very um, loud, I feel like, lipsticks. So you really want to wear these. You really want to feel good about yourself when you wear these. Well, I do. <laughs> but when I put this one on, I feel like I can just wear it around the house whenever I want to and even wear it as just a regular lip balm or even a lip gloss. So I really do like this a lot. This Back For More shade is up there with my current like favorites. Okay, so another one that I have by Context Beauty is Girl School. I only have two of the girl, um, two of the Context Beauty lipsticks, but here's Girl School. It's like a sheer pink, and again, I really like the consistency. It's like a lip balm or a really sheer lipstick, not as pigmented as some of my other ones, but just really nice for working at home, staying at home, doing errands if you want to. Um, as far as how much I have left, I don't really go over how much I have left of these. And you can't really tell compared to past videos what I have left. I can just compare them to each other. You can tell that I've used Back For More a little bit more than I have Girl School. Um, and I've messed it up around the edges. I do that with lipsticks. I will mess them up around the edges. And then I would just apply them to my lips on the place that I've messed up to try to smooth out those edges. And that's just how Serafina do, and I'm not worried about it. If, if you're using it, it doesn't really matter how messy it is, just that you're using it. So we have number eight, which is, you guessed it, you probably didn't guess this, you probably thought we were done, but we have more. These are the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipsticks, again, no, no, wrong, wrong. <laughs> We have Maybelline Ultimate lipsticks again. So number eight is going to be 299 more Scarlet. 
And I've been trying to wear these and get back into my reds, my classic red lipstick look, but I just don't wear it around the house very much because it's just a loud color. But I do love red and I do love my hot pink and this color is my favorite right now. So it's normally what I will wear, but this is more scarlet. I have reached for it in some past videos. Um, so let's go ahead and swatch it. Very, very red. <laughs> and if you like reds, then you will like this. It is a red matte at a really affordable price. I have not used it a whole lot. So this is it back in the container. And it's just basically the entire, this is basically the entire lipstick and how much is in it. Because I have not used it a whole lot. I actually had listed these in my store. And I just decided that I would keep them. Because why not? Here's the other one that I had listed. This is the Maybelline Ultimate Lipstick, obviously, in 399 more magenta, and it's like a hot pink. And again, it's basically brand new because I have not really used it, but I decided to start trying. Hot pink, very hot pink, very pigmented matte lipstick. They did good in this collection as far as making them matte and very like creamy and very thick and very pigmented but wow they are a lot but i like i like this hot pink i have reached for it and i do like this red so if i need a good red or a really good like hot pink like hot hot pink then this is going to be the one that i reach for okay so i had number let me see here one two three four five six seven eight i have 11 total mm, no i had 12 really it's because of that chapstick. So chapstick was number one. Maybelline Ultimates. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we only really have one more left in our panning project. And it really should be this one. But it's this one. Because that's what's on the list. Mm, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna say this one. Because this one, I'm at the end of my rope. And this lipstick is tugging at it. And when I say tugging at it, I mean, I got this as a prototype for my brand, Delirium Cosmetics. I hate it. I hate this shade. It just was an easy thing to try to use as a prototype. So that's what it is. It's a prototype of a shade that I did not like. This is, this is called Peach Kiss. That's what I called it. Peach Kiss. And... You know, I just don't like it. So it's basically a full tube of lipstick that I'm going to just have to use or end up biting the bullet and throwing it out, which I don't really want to do. But I just, it doesn't look good on me. It never has. And it never will. And it's just peach kiss. It's a very peachy orange tone lipstick. And I'll continue trying to use it. I don't like it, but I'm going to continue to try. So that's number 10. Those are all of my lipsticks, and I know I probably only have nine, whoops, oh no, I hit it. That's what I do, I mess them up. Um, I only have nine on my list, or not on my list, I have ten on my list because there's a chapstick missing. But I have nine on my arm, five, yeah, nine. So let's go ahead and swatch this one, that'll make a tenth swatch. This is my current lipstick that I am loving. I am loving, I'm obsessed, as they say. I'm obsessed with it, guys. No, really. This is like a five to ten dollar drugstore lipstick that you you're you can probably get this on Mercari for like two dollars or three dollars or a shade like it. I'm wearing it right now. I am loving it. I wear it every day basically, and I'm gonna wear it till I'm sick of it. It's like the perfect nude right now. It reminds me of a Milani color fetish lipstick that I loved, you know, and I think it was lustful. I think it was lustful. I know it was a different shade, but this one is like my new favorite lipstick. And it's just a Maybelline color sensational lipstick. That's all it is. Just a simple dollar store. You might be able to pick these up at Dollar Tree. Like, honestly. But they're so nice. Like, they're such good quality. And they're just a classic, beautiful packaging. They really are good lipsticks. You know, you think that buying expensive brands is better because you think that paying more for something is going to mean that it's a better product, but that's not necessarily the case. Sometimes you get lucky. Maybelline 
is an amazing brand. CoverGirl is an amazing brand. And of course, Milani is one of my absolute favorite and they're all drugstore brands. Those are my like go-to brands, those three brands. And this is 235 Warm Me Up. That's the color, 235 Warm Me Up. Here it is. Um, there's not much left of it, in my opinion, just because I'm using it so much. And I'm just going to continue to use it until it's gone. This really should have been number one on the list because I'm using it so much. I don't plan to pan this. It's funny, the ones that I need to pan, that I need to get rid of, are ones that I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to use it today. I want to use the other one that I like. And so they kind of stay on the list because I don't reach for them, even though I'm supposed to be reaching for them. So this time I'm not planning to pan, but it's just my favorite. So I swatched it on my hand in my last video and it was a beautiful swatch. And here I am messing up my lipstick, trying to get the perfect swatch on my elbow. And <laughs> there it is. Not the best swatch, but beautiful nonetheless. Let me try it again on my hand. Because I just feel like that's a better way to swatch lipsticks is on your hand. This is definitely my shade right now. I just love it so gosh darn much, you guys. It's beautiful. It looks good with this look too. By the way, if you're interested in how I got this look... Well, I didn't make the best video just now. I was kind of nervous when I made it, but please give it a like anyway. It's my ColourPop Lost in Love Get Ready With Me. I haven't done a Get Ready With Me, like an actual Get Ready With Me, in a while. So, you know, I'm a little bit rusty. So go give that video a like. Give it a thumbs up anyway and give me your comments on what you think about this palette. And I used one of the shades as a blush, which is kind of interesting. And it works. Why not? Why not just use all the shades? So anyway, that's the lipstick that I reached for for the end of that video. And I do have one more lipstick. This is definitely not being panned anytime soon. I'm trying to save the best for last. It is my brand new MAC Cosmetics. This is what I would consider a luxury brand because as you guys know, I wanted a Chanel lipstick for Christmas or my birthday or a Merit Beauty, which is, I guess, Clean Beauty. Um, I wanted a Merit Beauty lipstick. I found this. It was like my, one of my lip wish list items. And it is their most popular brand. I mean, their most popular shade aside from Ruby Woo. I was looking up like, what is the most popular shade and why? And it's this beautiful nude. And it's funny, my husband hates the name because it's like one of my ex-boyfriend's names. <laughs> But the name of it is Velvet Teddy, and it is so good. I really like the shade, and I feel like, once again, it's complementary to my skin tone instead of the really bright colors. I actually have a black lipstick that I only reach for for Halloween that I should probably let go of, but I really love these nudes. So here is Velvet Teddy, and compared to the other one, whoops, compared to the other one, you can see that high quality of both of these I feel like it's just so nice. This is such a nice lipstick. This is beautiful. It's full size, no sample size. I don't like the sample sizes. And I'm really going to get some use out of these. So I'm not planning on panning them, but every time I get in the mood, I just want to treat myself and put on some pretty lipstick. And that's what I do because I love lipstick. My username for Mercari used to be lipstick excuse me, lipstick lover. It is now Southern Belle. <laughs> but I love these two. These are my favorites. I do need to pan these. Well, not the bottom one. That's the same as the top one. But I do need to pan these lipsticks. I'm trying. I'm trying. I promise you I'm trying. I'll get there. Do you guys have any panning projects? Because if you do, link them down below or tell me about them so I can go find your channel and watch your videos and give you a like and comment so that you can be part of the algorithm. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta do the algorithm thing. And so I just want to support each other. So if you have panning projects, let me know so I can support you like you were supporting me. And I appreciate you guys so much. I hope that you stick around. I hope that we can be friends and get to know each other. Hi, my name's Sarah Beth, and I'm so grateful for you guys watching my video and spending 19 minutes and 45 seconds with me. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Stay safe and enjoy your lipsticks. Bye.